Dang it, there's a white mox? What a little shit. Maybe we just draft an aggressive white deck, you know? <laughs> I'm okay with it. 61 on Saturday and 62 on Sunday? I'll take it, bro. I'm going to take this mox as well. Look, Duretti's back. I didn't know Duretti was back. I like three mana Duretti. I don't think he does anything wrong. I'm going to take Palace Jailer. We're going to just stick with his white cards. And Palace Jailer is a solid white card. Eh, it's a living. So what we could do here is we can take this Esper Sentinel, take a Lotus Petal. I could take a Sentinel of the Nameless City as well. That guy's really good. Uh, Naya is easily the strongest color combo in the cube. Do you believe that or are you trolling right now? I can't tell. Hard to say. I do like an Esper Sentinel. It's not close. That doesn't, I don't know about all that. I, I kind of like, I like a Sentinel, especially on like turn two. White green is weird. I, mm, I think I just want to stick with Esper Sentinel here and not, I don't want to branch out yet. I don't think, uh, you know, it's not Leyline binding in a, in a white deck. I wonder if it's Hellrider. I wonder if we're just being that aggressive deck. This pack's not that good. We could take Savai Triome. It's better than Bivouac and maybe we can be like Mardu. I do like Mardu a lot. Yeah, I'll take a Triome here. I even bet Hellrider comes back. Oh, also we could just take Fractured Identity. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good card. I mean, it's, it's, it's head and shoulders better than like Probably any of the other cards in this pack that we would even consider taking. Yeah, it's just got to be fractured. What if we're Jeskai? If that's the case, could be Ferocidon. Turn two Ferocidon. Just aggro with a with a top end of fractured identity. <laughs> um. I mean, these, this lends us to Esper or Jeskai right now, if we want to play these cards. Esper would mean taking, like, Ophiomancer. Jeskai means... I'm going to take, take the Frosted on. I, I want to try to be a little more aggressive, maybe. Here comes Mardu again. Hmm. Might just be Flicker Wisp. Blinking Palace Jailer seems good. Yeah, I'll take a Flicker Wisp. Take an Elspeth. We're just going to take the very obvious cards and see where it leads us. Hmm. There's that Duretti. Seasoned Hollow Blade seems good. That guy just that guy just beats, you know? We could also just not play Fractured as well. It was a great card. But I'm not gonna take a double blue card. I think we're taking Hollow Blade, and this could even let us reanimate some things. Eh, another three one. Sure. I'm going to assume that we're leaning towards Mardu and like this gives us a reanimate component. It's a discard outlet. <sighs> you know, if we want to.
Wow, three blue cards, a Coalition Relic, and a Copper Line Gorge. That is a variety of cards. Maybe we are blue. Uh, it's just, I'm just gonna take Relic here. I don't think there's any reason to take any of the blue cards. Oh, Restless Bivouac coming back is pretty sweet. All right. I feel like we could lean into Mardu here and maybe even Splash Fractured. Maybe we're not as aggressive as we thought we were, but we have these aggressive creatures. I don't understand what's happening. I think this is a fascinating direction. I think there's a lot of strong aggressive cards in the deck, so we'll see. We'll take this guy and see where it, it leads us. Oh, Haunted Ridge came back is great. All right, so we just got three lands that are perfect for the color combination we were looking towards. And then we got a Mox Sapphire. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Yeah, put this guy back in maybe. Now we have Relic and Mox to cast one Fractured Identity. Okay. Yeah, so I'm saying Mardu because I like um, picking up lands that allow me to splash for really powerful cards. Like if we get Demonic Tutor, if we get <laughs> Dotsy, I don't know, you know, so... Uh, I like being able to play multiple colors. That's one of the best parts of Magic is not being restricted to one or two color decks for me. So, has nothing to do with having the cards. It, it's it's what we have to keep. It's what it's what we're keeping open basically. This pack is insane. Grief Path Through the Breach Trumpeting Carnosaur Council's Judgment Currency Converter. We're we're almost assuredly getting something back from this pack. Wow. Um, I almost kind of feel like it's Carnosaur. Path is very good. Council's Judgment is very good. Even Blood Tithe Harvester is great. Yeah, I'm going to take, I'll take Path. Yeah, I think there's a ton of cards that can come back here as well. If, like, Harvester, Trumpeting, Carnosaur, Councils, or Grief come back, I'll be very, very thrilled about that. I kind of like Gix here. There's also Fury and Guardian Scale Lord, both of which are fantastic as well. This might be a great Guardian Scale Lord deck. Also might be a great Fury deck. Like, this easily allows us to just splash a black card and splash the Fractured Identity as well. Bacon-wrapped Carnosaur. Well, I, I don't eat bacon, and I probably wouldn't eat Carnosaur either. So, I'm going to say... I think it's I think it's Guardian Scale Lord here. I think it just gets back a lot of things. Oh, I do like a Glorybringer. There's also Godless Shrine, which is great for the uh, the Mardu deck that we're, we're drafting. <laughs> Like I care more about getting fixing for potential colors that we could be because it opens up options for us. That's what I that's what I mean by that basically. Like if we took Godless Shrine with Haunted Ridge, Savai Trium, Relic, and Godless Shrine, we're a lot more able to play any any good black cards we come across that we might want to play. That being said, Mentor is good. Glory Bringer is real good. I think I'm still gonna take the Shrine because I think the fixing is important. Othari is nuts. We're just taking an Othari here for sure. Thrain Dynamo and Basalt Monolith in this pack. Yeah, that's not super close for me. Zerda. If that Basalt Monolith comes back, we can take a Zerda. Um, that being the case, though, I'm not sure if it will. And if it doesn't, like, we don't actually even have much to, 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 to play. I do like Mother. And I like Winds. It might just be Mother of Runes here. I mean, even if we're not super aggressive, like it's just a it's just a really obnoxious card. Flooded Strand seems great here. It gets Savai Triome and Godless Shrine. Yeah, let's take a strand. It's also it also just gets a blue. So it gets all four of our colors if we want to play one island. Or we can get like a 
a blue shock land or a, a blue dual land. So. Flesh Gorger. I don't love Thalia. <laughs> um, yeah, this pack's kind of meh for us. I actually, Flesh Gorger seems fine. Oh, Haunted Sanctum seems great. All right. Uh, I also do like Sarah Paragon a lot. Could also take Thopter Foundry and maybe hope to hit a sword. And then we have Goblin Engineer to put the sword in the graveyard. I don't hate that, but seeing that we just took Flesh Gorger, I almost like Sacred uh, Shattered Sanctum a little bit better. Hmm. Also, Paragon gets back a ton of things, but we do have Scale Lord. Yeah, I'm going to take this and assume that we won't hit... Um, <laughs> yeah, Council's Judgment coming back. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, I'm going to assume we won't get Sword. He said confidently. Yeah, damn feels great here. It's just a two mana. It's just a removal spell, but it's also a Wrath if we want it to be a Wrath. Mentor coming back is pretty nice. Thran Dynamo. I don't care about you, but I'll take you. Zerda came back. So if we do get like Grim Monolith, it's worth playing. And then we have Flesh Gorger. Eh. This deck is kind of all over the place. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, we didn't get a third Mox. That's really weird. We did get a Sweet Solitude. Kolagon's Command is good. Urza Saga is decent with two Moxes. Uh, but we're also 3.5 colors. Luris is decent. I don't think we have a great Luris deck. We could take a Talisman. I think it's just Solitude, though. Solitude is a kind of a, a ridiculous white card. And it's also... Uh, we have a ton of... Oh, great. Glad we're splashing. <laughs> Pass me an Ancestral Recall. Sure, I'll take it. Yep, that's, that's a card, all right. So yeah, if we can get something to search for with the Flooded Strand, I think it's going to be uh, very good. I would have loved to pick up that Rafine's Tower that was going around in the last pack, but it was in the same pack with um, Flooded Strand, I think. Yeah, if we're just splashing for like Fractured and Ancestral, I'm totally fine with that. Just a lot of cards in this deck that don't really have great roles like Rada's Firebrand and Goblin Engineer. There's a Scrubland and a Blood Crypt. Both of those are pretty decent. Seasoned Pyromancer. Show and Tell doesn't do much. I might just take Snapcaster, actually. Snapcaster seems pretty good for this deck. We have Path, Ancestral, Council's Judgment, Dam, Fractured. Like, that seems pretty good. It's also only one blue. Yeah, all right. Let's go with Snapcaster. There's a Talarian Academy that I do not foresee us playing. I actually really like Preacher of the Schism. I think this card is super cool. Hmm. I think Talisman of Progress might be an option. We're heavy white and blue is like our weakest land color. I'm actually quite tempted to just pick up Talisman here. Also, with double mox, turn one talisman mox is not unrealistic. Uh, Academy seems fine, but we have like, I mean, like we only have like three artifacts that we're really playing before turn. We're just not a heavy artifact deck. Oh, Grim Monolith. Hmm. That's fascinating. Um, well. With Zerda, I feel like that's definitely a consideration. Yeah, I'm just taking that. Even if we go like... It's just another card we can play on turn one with double Mox. Yeah, Trinket Mage is actually not terrible. Shrapnel Blast is interesting. 
<laughs> and, and just like that, you are an artifact deck. Yeah, it sure seems that way, don't it? Eh, it might just be Trigger Mage. We could like Mox Pearl. Mm. We can also get Esper Sentinel. Yeah, let's take Trinket Mage. Sure, what the hell? Oh, Dak Faden? Hmm. Also, this Atali. Which does give us something to ramp into. It's got to be Dak Faden, though, right? Our three drop slot is quite heavy right now. Heavy is the three drop slot that wears the crown. Well, this pack is pretty poop. It might just be Gideon. Yeah, let's take a Gideon. Oh, Colagon's coming came back? Hmm, that's pretty good. It's better than Talisman. Fascinating. I think this actually might just be a seven drop, and maybe we're just cut like we can cut the black, but we have Haunted Ridge, Godless Shrine, and Shattered Sanctum and Savai Triumph, so it's like it's just a free splash at this point, but this isn't really a splash. But we can just play this as a wrath. Duretti is interesting. I mean, it's better than the other things, I guess, so I'll take a Duretti. Yeah, this is... Eh, Preacher came back. Welder is interesting. Like, we just don't have the... Oh, Walking Blist is great for making infinite mana. That's actually the card I was hoping came back, so... Yeah, that's decent. Deserted Beach. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is 28, so we gotta make some cuts. We're probably cutting the dam. Cutting, rampaging Ferocidon. Hmm. Don't know if I hate Mother of Runes here. <laughs> it's, it could just be fine. Eh, take Outcome, cut Duretti. This is 25. I can see cutting like Hollow Blade. Like, I just don't feel like that's our deck anymore. This is 24. I feel like I kind of want to cut a three drop. Maybe Flicker Wisp, but Flicker Wisp is fine. Sort by mana value. Like, this guy's probably just going to be easy to cast at seven. I mean, this seems decent. Put you at two for now, so the curve looks a little bit better. <sighs> Flicker Wisp is just Flicker Wisp. What does it blink? It blinks Palace Jailer, blinks Solitude. You can blink Guardian Scaler to get another counter. Blinking Flesh Gorger seems pretty sweet to deprototype it. Um, you can blink Snapcaster and target something else. Blink Trinket Mage. Yeah. I mean, it seems good. This really turned out to be an interesting one. It might just be Mother of Runes. Really? You don't think two Moxes and an Esper Sentinel is good enough? To, and Walking Ballista is good enough to get a Trigger Mage? I mean, that seems pretty good. Interesting. I mean, Trigger Mage go going to get the card that we infinite combo with Zerda seems pretty strong. I mean, this feels... This feels pretty decent. I'm okay with this. Uh, I don't think Dynamo does anything. It doesn't ramp us into anything. Like, the only thing it ramps us into is Flesh Gorger. Like, if we have the four mana to cast this, like, we already have... We're one mana away from everything else. And we already have, like, Relic, Talisman, Grim Monolith, and two Moxes, so... It just doesn't... It doesn't do... Also, our Splash is really simple here, so that's great. Um, <laughs> nothing is double any color outside of white. So let's look for red cards. We have one black. That's fine. Red, we have one, two, three, four. 
Not actually, Zerda's not even a red card. It's just double white card. So, so one, two, three. We have. Does Flood Strand does get uh, so I Triumph. So one, two, three, four, five. I might go up to six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Then they, everything has Coalition Relic, right? So, all right, blue, we have four cards, five cards. And we have one, two, three. One, two, three. Four with Talisman of Progress, five. And I might go up to six there, too. We're probably going to need less white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And black, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five black and only one black card. Actually, that seems just fine. Zerta makes ballista counters cost two. Yeah, right. Yeah, you can make. Yeah, so it's going to be, it's cheaper all around. It both, uh, it gives you infinite mana with, with Grimonolith to then add cheaper counters. So, pretty good. Let's sort by mana value and just take a little pick. A little picky pick. Because I don't want to be like, what lands can we get? Yeah, alright. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I like some of the cards we have. We have Double Mox Ancestral. It's got to count for something, right? Grim Monolith and, and Talisman, so like we can get three mana on turn one. Yeah, and actually, when you remove a counter from Walking Ballista, it costs you negative two. You actually net mana. <laughs> uh, the non-Monolith, it's... Uh, it, I, I don't know what it affects, but I know the two are Grim Monolith and Basalt Monolith. Those are its two infinite mana makers. I don't know what other like beneficial um like artifacts it works with. Yeah, I don't think there's a ton of like interactables. Cuz it's also non-mana abilities. All right, Cloud, Cloud 1304. Yeah, see, there you go. Look at that, turn two Zerta. Turn three Elspeth. I like it. Uh, keep. Urza's spin would cost three, right? Urza's spin is just five colorless. So it would reduce it by two colorless, and then it would just be three colorless. Just still not terrible. Don't hit me, bro. Hooray. I was not hemmed. Okay. I will play this guy. And then I'll play the Elspeth. And then... Just make a 1-1 one, one here. 
I think going a little wider is probably safe. Also, Elspeth's ability cost uh, two less mana, so that was good. Collective Bortality. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That is, in fact, a card, isn't it? Okay, okay. Uh, whenever this attacks, but only kind of a creature you control. You got it. If only this was Council's Judgment instead, wouldn't that be neat? I kind of want to just play Jailer here. Like, they have no pressure. Yeah, I think we're doing that. Also, this ability is only two to activate, which is good to know. Yeah, I think the question is like, is the ability Palace Jailer is going to give us on the board better than drawing at least two cards from the ability, from, from being the Monarch? And I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Interesting choice. I don't get to be the monarch. Shallow grave. You're just going for Elspeth? No, I don't like that. Surprised they didn't draw cards there. Why wouldn't you draw before you play your things, I wonder? What's the benefit of that, you know? Okay, so we know they have two of those in hand. Interesting. Something good. It's not very good. A lot of damage. Um, just gonna play Mox Pearl here. Mm. I kind of want to play both things. We're gonna draw a card, and if we hit Ancestral, I'd like to have. Meh, okay. Oh, actually, stealing their One Ring is fucking is insane. <laughs> just got beat up by a cave. Uh, it was a bivouac. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's fine. It does appear to me that they're trying to reanimate things. So they're going to discard Archon of Cruelty with this blood token, right? And then they're going to corpse dance it. It was a swamp. That's better. Okay. Okay. Mono Planeswalkers, what can we do here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can go one, two, three. Count Dacula. 
Oh, they didn't actually use it in response. That's fascinating to me. Um, all right. Well, I'm just going to draw draw some cards here. One, two, three, four. Play a land. Fractured this guy. And I think that probably kills you, right? Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Make a blood. Make a bloody boy. Oh, they go to one. That's not the same at all. No, they don't. They're dead. That's nine. <laughs> I mean, unless they kill one of these guys. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a game. And Solitude is a wild magic card. I don't really have anything I really care to board in. We can bring in Dam, but it's not instant. Like, if this is an instant speed card, I'd be like, okay, let's bring it in. Kills your guy. It's not. All right. Well, I do like this. We can go Haunted Ridge and then turn three this guy. Turn two this guy. I, too, have a Haunted Ridge. Um, We have two white here, and we don't need second black or a second red. So I think we're actually going to keep Triome in hopes of maybe cycling it later. Punished, I guess. Mm, same philosophy here. Just play this guy. Oh, we should have played Galdas Shrine, then this comes in and play on tap. Never mind. That was stupid. Little mistakes like this, man. Like, if my brain moves like four seconds slower, we make significantly fewer misplays. Uh, that's not terrible, I guess. So, uh, actually, a, a dam, dam would not be strictly better in that situation, interestingly enough. And the reason is because they're different color cards, so you can't really compare them like that. If there's a, if there's a metagame where there's a card that says counter target black spell for one mana or something... Um, dam is then all of a sudden uh, disadvantaged in that metagame, right? Like, this is why Strictly Better is really difficult to use correctly because there are a lot of corner cases in Magic that you have to take advantage, that you have to figure out and like be like, oh, okay, well, in every situation, this is usually better. If it was a white card that either costs two to remove one creature or four to remove... Um, you know, Dam, Dam also gets countered by something like uh, Spell Snare, right? Whereas Wrath of God doesn't. Um, This is interesting. Like, next turn we just play Othari, right? This gets us a blue and then we can get a red here. Yeah, I think we go get a blue and then we cycle this and hope to hit Ancestral. That's our goal, right? That's our that's our good times goal. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Well, that's a free. That's a free. That's a free card. Sure. Magic needs a strictly better ninety percent of the time term. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it's it's difficult because even there's 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 situations where like even lightning bolt isn't strictly better than shock, right? Like, what if there's a card in Magic that says like it's a two two and it's like. If, you know, if this, if a spell would deal damage to this, any excess damage is dealt back to the spell's controller, right? Then all of a sudden, Lightning Bolt is worse against that creature. Which, I mean, it's nuanced. Oh, good, they played Caracas the exact turn we were going to play Othari. Ha! Oh, nice. <sighs> I really feel like I have to work for these situations, like, to engineer these situations. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to put that guy into play. Ooh, so close. Second white source, sure. I mean, we don't have anything to do with this, right? So we're just gonna... And that's what we were kind of hoping for, that they just let us do this. That's... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? I mean, because now we got the now we got the rebel out of it. What? Sure. Yeah, there's always those weird corner cases. I don't understand why they didn't Caracas. I guess because maybe like, you, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess because maybe they wanted it exiled, but they took. S I'm very confused. They have one card. I'm tempted to just Guardian Scale Lord put the counter on this guy and get Mox Pearl back. Because that g actually gives us mana to Snapcaster Fractured Identity. If we, uh, I guess we have to hit a second blue for that. I mean, it's still better than not doing it, right? It's an extra damage here. And plus this guy then also... Yeah, this puts them to one too. And like, they have to actually... Yeah, sure. The thing I like about Corner Case is that they let me win the argument against Daniel at my local game store. That guy sucks. Yeah, get out of here, Daniel. What a little rascal that guy is. So this has Menace and it's a 4-4. Four four. Uh, block. No, I mean, no blocks. You know, blocks, no blocks. What's the difference? I guess I'll go to 15. Yeah, that card's good. Hmm. Yeah, just these guys, I guess. How do you get out of this? Oh, is it death? Is it me? Am I the Daniel? Oh, look, we would have had an Ancestral next turn. Wouldn't that have been neat? All right, I don't know if this... De yeah, this deck seems fine. But... Correct is was kind of silly. 
I mean, we just have a lot of ramp to get to those really powerful four and five drops, which is kind of nice. Like being able to go like Mox and then Flesh Gorger into like Elspeth or turn two or th turn three Othari. Yeah, <laughs> I probably cursed myself by saying the deck seems fine. Well, no Moxes here, but we do have a Trinket Mage that can go get one. We're also on the draw. I'll take it. Oh, we're playing against Bird Person. 54, the 54th Bird Person. Oh, look at that. Bananas. That was good. I mean, we got two Moxes, though, you know? That's just how the cookie crumbles. This can go get our Savai Triome. Let's play Flooded Strand first. Because I want to be able to pay for a daze if they try to daze me. Okay. Also tempted to just get Esper Sentinel here, I think. I don't think the other Mox Pearl does anything with this level of mana. We got a Godless Shrine, right? I guess we don't need that either because we have... Oh, we don't need Survive Triome, rather. Oh, do they have? They did have days. Wow. Played around it like a champ. Until we threw our Esper Sentinel in it. But this is free. All right. This is just, they just dazed this guy basically. And we just paid for it. Sure. Well, I hope we don't just draw a bunch of, no actually getting back Esper Sentinel and, and killing this guy seems good. Oh, excuse me. I'll get this correct. Hold on. Uh, we're going to go black, red, blue. Cast, destroy an artifact, and return my gentleman. Is it force of will or force of negation? No, they're just going to shoot me. Also, look at these beatings that they're taking. How are they going to, how do they get, how do they survive this? You cannot. They didn't do anything, including play a land. So one, two, three, we'll play a mentor here. All right. Uh-oh, Malcolm in the middle. Okay. I will not block. I do not have a means with which to block. I do not have anything that floats in the air. Put a reanimate in the trash can. Are we just playing mono reanimate decks? Well, that's a thing, I guess. Do I just want to fracture identity to this guy? Like, possibly? Like, they don't have another thing that puts cards in the graveyard, right? So. I 
Oh, now they're now they're force of willing. Interesting. What did they get rid of? Treachery? Sure. That's pretty good. All right. Well, next turn we have Restless Bivouac and whatever we draw, right? One, two, three, four. And then we have four mana to play something. All right. Well, fingers crossed. They have three cards. Nothing great in the graveyard. Doomsday. Jesus, what is... Hitting Path off of that is pretty juicy because now they're probably not going to be able to draw one of the cards. And then we just get to kill them next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I feel like this might be good enough. They're likely putting like... I actually don't know. I don't know what they could get, but they're gonna draw the top card with this guy. So if it's like Lotus and they have Time Twister in hand, and we get to peep their whole deck. Phantasmal Image. It doesn't look like they're a reanimate deck. They just have a reanimate in here. Yogmoth, Dreams of Steel and Oil. Fascinating. So if they attack, I'm definitely going to path them, and they probably don't have another land in their deck. This is on, on combat damage, right? Yeah, so if they attack, their plan is to definitely draw the top card. Oh, they searched. So their library is just a mess. No particular order. And that's the end. All right, great. <laughs> well, that did it. All right, little man. It's only six o'clock. It's not even time for dinner. Yeah, I don't think our sideboard does anything in this matchup, so... Uh, turn two Esper Sentinel and some removal. Yeah, that's weird. Their deck was interesting because it doesn't look like they have anything to reanimate. They're probably just using it as like a value card. I mean, which is fine. It's a good, it's a good value card. I'm tempted to go Flooded Shrine and get like Godless Shrine. Just to play Esper Sentinel on turn one, which I feel like is good. Ah, oh, bizarre. Ah, oh, bizarre. Don't daze it. Don't do it. And this card's kind of a pain. Mind Twist, Chalice, yeah, that's fine. Uh, this is our only red source right now, so I think we're playing this first. And then we can play Beach to get a blue source. Into like Zerta, probably. You got it. Three mana for a Night's Whisper. Good deal. A little bivvy. One, two, three. This guy's doing the damage.
Destination unknown. Uh, good times in the hot, hot sun. I do kind of want to play Bivouac here. Maybe I just play Walking Ballista because it's so much cheaper to, to put counters on it. I mean, they could Malcolm here, so I'm not going to attack with Sentinel. Oh, wow. Urtai. Wow. I get an Elspeth? And you're going to trade? Well, that was pretty wild. All right. Do we think they have Force of Will here? Probably. Oh, or not. All right. My mistake. Now you've clearly made a mistake, a miscalculation. Yeah, if we swung with Sentinel, they could have blocked Sentinel and then... Oh, that's interesting. Protection from humans. Wow, that's so bad. <laughs> that's, yep, that's not as good as I thought it was. All right, protection from humans. When does that come into play? Right now, fantastic. Well, I'm still the monarch, so if we draw a path to exile, we'll be redeemed. Brainstorm, sure. I mean, I guess he's just a 2-4, right? Dak Faden. All right. Well, next turn we can go Judgment and Dak. Our hand is pretty good. Protection from humans. I like it. Oh, great. Oh, these aren't humans, though. These are just soldiers. Fantastic. Easy block. Yeah, love it. Get your little snake out. Do, 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 do. Get your snake on. Do, 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 um, yeah, we're definitely playing two things here, I think. One, uh, two, three, and then we have black, red, and blue, red for Count Dacula. Oh, yeah, crack that guy. You got three mana counter spell. It's just a, there's a hard cast force of Nagashin. Okay, all right. Well, butter my biscuits. Destroy an artifact. They don't have one. We can deal two damage. I think we kill the Ophiomancer. Kerwit, have a good breakfast cereal, buddy. I'm going to wait for them to sack the snake, and then we're going to go uh, two damage to any target. I think we're just drawing a card here.
You have force of will also? No, you're just activating it again, right? Oh, it just... Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. That's fine. Oh. Well. Juicy. Well, they just drew two off of Yogmoth. Yogmoth is a hell of a guy. Another card that's really good with Bitter Blossom as well, because you get to sack creatures, draw cards, and put negative one, negative one counters on things. Oh, they're just stealing the monarchy, huh? Seems good. I only got five cards. That's a lot, man. Not feel fascinating. What is this? What is this that's happening? I don't understand how they win here. The problem is, like, we couldn't see the cards that they chose last game with Doomsday, right? So, like, we don't actually know what cards they're going to get to win. Did they leave it an island? Did they get did they get an island? Like we see their whole deck. They got damnation. I don't know, man. What are they what are they? Four mana. Walking ballista for two. Sure. Uh oh. <laughs> that's that's just wins us the game, doesn't it? Because we got walking ballista. Let's actually play the Ballista first. Blue, blue. Or the Grim Monolith first, rather. We also have a combo. So they're at six. Click one two. So we go tap, click, one, two. 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 Okay, so that guy's a 5-5. Five, five. He can't die to Walking Ballista now. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, 8. No. We're just going to do it for 6 because that's what you're at.
And then we're like, we can make infinite mana. And if you have to, if you have force of will and you, mm, sure. Like we can pay for days. If you force of will and go to five, palace jailer is now five, five. One damage to Elspeth. Okay. They also have two cards, so if we actually tapped correctly to play Dak as well, we could have made them draw. And then they just die in their their draw step. So fingers crossed that this resolves. I don't know what they could have dooms doomsdayed for. They have seven cards in hand. I messed up my doomsday pile. <laughs> well, that's a thing. I don't know what they could have done. Doomsday's, doomsday's too complicated and too, like, it forces you into these awkward situations. Oh, okay. All right. Well, 2020. Deck is doing doing just fine, I guess. I guess if you just put a bunch of powerful cards in your in your deck that are easy to cast, then it ends up being okay, you know. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we'll keep this. We can use more colors for sure, but it's 5 mana on turn 2. Six if we hit a land. Yeah, look at me. I too have a zero mana artifact. That's rude. No, don't like that. I do like a haunted ridge though. Yeah, okay. We'll play the ridge because next turn, if we draw a blue source, we can either play Dak or Ancestral. And if we don't hit a blue source. Hmm. Oh, look at that. I got a little combo. It's my little combination move. Or oh, Relic. That's fascinating. Uh, I think we're just going to go... This guy, and then just kill the Luris. I mean, next turn, Relic into Ancestral is pretty good. And if we hit a land, we can actually go Relic into Dak Faden. Or Relic into Flicker Wisp. I don't know what that does, but it can blink the Relic. Sure. You don't want to equip that guy? Okay. What is it about these white... What is it about these planes, you know? Oh, let's just steal their... Let's just steal their guy.
Oh, you're gonna do something? You're gonna kill it in response? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Fine by me. I mean, they can kill Dak here, but we have Ancestral, and they can no longer exile our cards, which is nice, because if they were able to, like, exile Ancestral, it turns off Snapcaster. Um, we can not We can get back Walking Ballista with Kolagon's Command. There's a bunch of different things we actually want our creatures in the graveyard for. Like, we can get Dak back with uh, Guardian Scale Lord. Five mana. What is going on? That's really annoying. Well, fingers crossed we can recover from that. If they want to attack with with Warder at any point, I'm fine with that. I doubt... I was like, oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> and then they didn't. That's sad. Well, they have two cards... Oh, come on. Really? That would have been so good. Make this a four. Get back Coalition Relic or Dak Faden. Wow, that's so bad. Oh, actually, we should have just attacked there, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we're just taking five. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, holding, holding back was good then. I'd rather not take two than... Good grief, what is going on? Come on, really? I mean, at least we get to play Ancestral here. And not hit a single land. <laughs> Any black source would have been great to play Fle Phyrexian Flesh Gorger here, but apparently it was not meant to be. Othari has lifelink, at least. <sighs> we have a lot of lifelink. If we can just start stabilizing, that would be wonderful. Man, I felt like we were doing really, really well until Pest Infestation, Leon and Relic Order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we bring in I think we bring in the dam here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we gained three, it just doesn't do anything for us. Yeah. Yeah. What? Weird. Hey, look, another land. Where were you last turn? Couldn't have done anything last turn, though, so. Six mana. I don't think we have anything here. We don't even have two black for that guy. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. Yep. Bring in Dam. Seeing as we're bringing in a Wrath of God, we can probably take out, like, Mentor. Actually, Esper Sentinel seems worse here. Mentor still seems like a decent gentleman. All right.
All right. I'll keep this. It's slow and they're probably gonna kill this, but it's got lands and colors and things. Um, 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 um. <laughs> oh boy. Everybody's having a good time in the chat. Man, two moxes, Grim Monolith. No exciting turn one. They always have both. You never just have one of these. You always you always have both. What are they talking about? Is her hand? Sure. If we path this in response, they just take fractured identity, so we're not like preventing them from hitting. I actually think fractured is probably better to take. Yeah. So. That would have been fantastic here when they don't have a, a second, when, we, when they don't have like any pressure and we just don't have a second white source. That's comical. Well, we're getting rid of this in preparation of having a second white source. So we can either Solitude, the Luminarch Aspirant, or Palace Jailer it. White source. Not a white source. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Why did you lose? Well, we had two dull white cards that would have given us an insane tempo advantage on the board, but no white source. So... Oh my god, we should have just, we should have solituded this in response, but like, I have six because I just didn't think they were going to play Torok there, so. Let's draw like an Othari or something that's relevant here, that's, fuck. I think I'm just, I've just resigned to losing, well, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I think I've just resigned to losing this game. Two, three, four. Does she just die? No, you're a four. I guess, yeah. Well, no, you can't target this guy with, with Luminarch. So we do get a turn unless they kill this, but... Pro-white's pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah, we would have had to target this with, um, with Solitude. Yeah, it's still great. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> it's literally like 11 white sources in the deck. Fucking amazing, dude. Yep, just have to discard Solitude and Palace Jailer. This is why oath. This is why with three O's are just so difficult because the the odds you're just getting absolutely blasted on luck is just miserable. Yep. Huh. Cast four five. One, two, three, four, five. So I guess I don't even need to Grim Monolith this guy. Uh, 
All right, they have four cards in hand. I will prepare my concession. <laughs> Fantastic. Take seven, I guess. All right. What do we take? Four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Who knows? Eleven. Go to three. Great. Yep, draw from that. Draw from that. Make sure you just draw a million cards. Trinket Mage. What do you get? Walking Ballista? Yeah, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not the worst. What are the odds they have four lands and a do nothing card in hand? Fingers crossed. Well, we got some thoughts, apparently. Earn Elf Pork. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, that's one of the lands. I hope the rest are also lands. Got it, got it. Oh, weird. This is... This is an attack. I mean, if they have a way to get rid of the Gorger after I, after I get it back, like... Can't really do anything about that. Like every creature is lethal, so. Like they can even like necromancy to get back Leon and Relic Order just to have it die at the end of the turn just to get rid of my guy as a blocker. So, I mean, I, I don't I don't think we're getting out of this one, but interesting. What's the, what's difficult about this? I don't like either have it or you don't, right? I'm very I'm very confused about how this is going to go. Either we're just going to get absolutely blown out and they just slurled this, or like we might have something. Okay, final answer. Really surprised Trinket Mage did this much work, I guess. I don't know. This is I mean if we if we die, we die. Yeah, I mean, this is what we gotta do. What, why is this, why, what was so hard about this? <laughs> Where was the complication? What? <laughs> why was this taking so long? <sighs> Come on. 
come on. Yup, look, now I die, because you had exactly, like, I don't understand where the fucking complication was. S seemed obvious. What, like, why? I don't understand. I was going to say something, but I'm like, it's just so fucking obnoxious. Like, just kill me, dude. Jesus. I have no cards in hand. There are no cards in my hand. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.